Soraya, she projectile pooped on me. It was in the dark. I heard <laughs> it went everywhere. You got pooped on in I your know. face. I know, and I did not shower. <laughs> Motherhood is full of unexpected moments, and sometimes you just need a drink, a laugh, and a girlfriend who's been there. This is Mom to Mom. You know her from the real, and today we're getting real about motherhood. We are. Tamara Mori Housley. Hi, guys. Thank you for being here. I feel so honored. This Have is a mimosa. So cool. Yes. You have two adorable little ones. Yes, I do. Araya and Aiden. Did you actually feel the difference between being pregnant with a boy versus being pregnant with a girl? Yes. You did. Because you have the uh, girl-like hormones. So the estrogen oh, is okay. like on fire. <laughs> and I was really emotional. And girl, you gain weight in places that I never knew. Oh, yeah. You like can gain girl. when you have a girl. Like my eyelids got fat. Like what? like my nose I don't think really spread <laughs> with my son, but the myth is when you have a girl your nose spreads or something like that. And I was like, oh, I held it together all the way until like almost up to uh, her her due date. I mean, literally, it's it started getting bigger. And I, just for me, the second was harder to lose the weight only because I had another one to take care of. Right. And then I got the real and that takes a lot of my a lot of my time. We yeah. both breastfed. Mm -hmm. With Araya, she was a G. That girl latched on, and you know when you see this little part go yes. I was like, look at this girl go! Chase was just an ornery little sh He would get on, <laughs> yeah. and then he would just arch his head back. No. And then he'd get back on, and then he'd arch himself. I mean, the feeding would take like an hour and a half, oh, and then no. they're supposed to sleep like every two hours or something right? like that. And I'm like, Whoa. you don't count the nursing in like, I didn't count right or something. I, I don't know. <laughs> like, I felt like I was never getting any sleep. I thought that I was only getting like 30 minutes to an hour because Aiden, it, it took him, it took him a while. My boobs are actually getting wet right now talking about this. I know. This is so <laughs> annoying. I was on an audition. Mm -hmm. I forgot to put my pads in. I had a crying scene, okay? So of course when you, you're emotional or whatever, it just started to come out. And literally I'm doing this scene and all this is wet. <laughs> I see the casting director and the producers look at me like, what the hell is going on? I'm like, I'm so sorry, <laughs> oh my God. And I just ran out. Yeah. But did you get the part? No. Oh. No, I didn't. Which one was <laughs> your super boob? There's always a super boob. Nobody yeah. told me that. This one right here, she was amazing for both my children. But I don't know about this one. This yes. one always struggled. Lazy as hell. Your left there. one too? Yes. It didn't even pump a yeah. lot. This yeah. one would be like, because <laughs> you know it sprays. Oh, yeah. My husband was always weirded out by breast milk, so I used to just be like, <laughs> <laughs> and he'd be like, what the hell? What is this? Are terrible twos a real thing? Girl, did anybody tell you about the threes? No. Nobody told me either. It's called three-nager. <laughs> they act like they're teenagers, but they're three. Threes make twos look like nothing. Oh, no. Yeah. So twos are a thing in the sense that they want to express some things to you, mm -hmm. but they can't verbally do it. Yeah. So that's the reason why they get frustrated. Yeah. Whereas three, they know how to express themselves, and boy, do they let you know. And so because, they do. Yes, they're trying to test their, their boundaries. They're trying to see how far they can go. I've never said no so many times in my life. Like, no, 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 <laughs> no, no. No, and then we got them all down. No, I'm telling no, no. What's the most serious no you've got? Oh, it scares me. No, no. I see you. No. <laughs> That's good. It works. Got you gotta start them one. young though. No. Yeah, no, no. no. Any there gross are... moments that you can remember? Please. I was with Aiden, uh, first time mom. I forgot the diaper bag. <sighs> and Aiden decided to have a blowout. Yes. So here I was like, holy crap, there's yellow stuff everywhere. I had to ask other moms who were there, do you have a diaper? Yeah. Do you have wipes? Yeah. Can you help me out? And they're just like, how come you don't have me? Shut up. Yeah. Mean. Mean, right? Mean. What did you um, feel like was the biggest change in your marriage after you had a baby? It was just the little things that bothered me because I was so sleep deprived. Yes. One time he was sitting on the couch, 
I walked in and I was like, Ugh. he was like, I didn't do anything. I said, you looked at me, Adam. You just looked and you breathed. <laughs> so I'm the messier one of the two oh, of us. He's not real he happy feel? with okay. me okay. Um, all the time. <laughs> but, but see, then I'll get on to him too about every little thing too when it yeah. comes to Chase. Okay, I'm gonna give you advice. Yeah. If you let your husband learn all this good stuff now, right? Yeah then you'll be able to, when you're out with your girlfriends, not worry about what's going on at home. So you have to allow him that space. I mean, granted, he's been taking care of Chase while I'm at work. Amazing. But do you call him every single second? I send a couple texts sometimes. Okay. Sometimes I gotta <laughs> shoot in a little, how's my baby okay. doing? Can you send me a picture? Why is he wearing that? He's yes, been, I know. He's been wearing that since yesterday. Girl, you gotta we get got over that. 5,000 outfits, put him in something else. My husband still doesn't know how to dress my kids. Like, he brings them over to the reel, and I'm like, why the hell is he wearing that? And this is what's bad, though. I feel the need to announce it to the world. I'm like, hey, guys, <laughs> they look a little rough today, you know? <laughs> Mom wasn't there. And my poor husband's like, Tamara, I tried. But he's never gotten it right. I love you, honey. He's just, I don't know, but they're happy, and they're safe. And he yeah. got them to the studio. What are the housely house rules? Like what, what's something you don't bend on and what's something that you keep saying is a rule but you break all the damn time? I don't want them sleeping with me. Yeah. Only because I don't get adequate like husband and wife time. When they're in your bed, it's like sleeping with a drunk octopus. That's the best way of describing it. You'll wake up with a toe in your nose and you're like, damn it! <laughs> I'm trying to get them out of our beds like throughout the entire night. Have you ever thought about just locking the room door? I did, but my husband would not let me do it. Yeah, yeah there's always gonna be one in the family. I'm like, dude, let's just lock the door. He'll be fine. <laughs> we have a camera. We'll be able to see everything. But I let Adam have his way and our son is still in our bed. Adam, if you want more sex, I'm just saying. Uh. That, oh, that, that always works, though. I remember at one point I was like, dude, you're not getting any. You want sex? I at least got to have four to six hours with oh, yeah. you in the bed. I'm tired of doing it on the floor and in the closet. I, <laughs> it's. Cheers, men. We do love you. We just forget to tell you. Mm hmm You actually also were open about having a little bit of postpartum depression. Yeah. I was walking in crying to work every day. And at one point I was in a ball. I remember just bawling. And my husband was like, this isn't the Tamara that I know. What is going on? It actually had to be an intervention with my husband, my nutritionist, and the girls from The Real. It's important to know exactly what it is so that when a person that loves you, a sister, whatever, spouse, they can recognize it. Because once you recognize it, that's when you can get the help you need. What did you feel like changed after in yourself after becoming a mom? Like, what is a strength you realized that you had? And what was a weakness you realized you had? I had trouble balancing finding Tamara again, pre-mommy Tamara. And I realized that that Tamara doesn't exist. She's actually a better version of herself now. You can't keep going back there. Like, oh, my body. Oh, I didn't have that. Yeah. Oh, guess what, honey? You're never going to have that again. You're new and improved. I feel like my career elevated after I became a mom. Like, I'm fearless because now I have a reason why I'm doing these things. Well, I'm proud of you. Thank you. I'm so proud of you, not Thank only you. for getting through it, but being willing to share that with other moms. You're not alone. Not alone. You're not alone. Time for our favorite game, Never Has Mommy Ever. Okay. I need you to take a drink if you've done these things. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Never has mommy ever let something sit on the floor way past the five second rule and give it back to the kids. With your second one, you don't care. You're like, ah, you're fine. Yeah. It just landed in dirt. Never has mommy ever stuck your hand in the toilet to retrieve a toy. Yeah. Never has mommy ever gone all mama bear on another kid for bullying your kid. Not yet. All but I will. Never has mommy ever just hid in the bathroom to just have some alone time. In my car, in the bathroom, in the tub, gone for a walk. Anytime yeah. your kid get yeah. a check in alone. Yeah. I have a little sign that says, please do not disturb. Or sometimes I just leave and then I text, I'm like, Adam, I left. <laughs> Never has mommy ever dropped the F-bomb multiple times in front of their child. <laughs> Sorry. Never has mommy ever let their kid take a nature pee pee because finding a disgusting bathroom was too 
too hard. It's great for boys. I haven't experienced that with my daughter yet. I don't know how we're gonna handle that. Never has mommy ever held their baby and just stared at him long enough and then just starts crying because you love him so much. I do that all the time. I thought of who they're gonna marry, like what the prom is gonna be like. Like you just, daydream. yeah, daydream about the future. Thank you so Thank much. You. This is so much fun. Cheers. <sighs> Amazing. Just the smell of it. <laughs>